what um, you're, you're not going to have Trey out there with you for the for the first half. What uh, what does what does that mean for for you guys? Uh, I mean, Jason is uh, probably going to play behind him, and I think uh, Thomas Harper will probably play this week as well. So um, losing Trey obviously obviously is big because Trey certainly he's a, a great player for us, but. You know, we got guys that's ready to step up, like Jason Cable, who got a lot of playing time last game. So, and he did pretty good while he was in there. So, I think uh, first half, we're going to have to make some adjustments. Uh, you know, maybe I'll play in the boundary a little bit. Maybe Kobe will play um, in the middle a little bit. But uh, other than that, we'll just, you know, wait until the second half and get get Trey back rotated in the, uh, in the rotation. So, it, it, I don't think it's going to affect us at all today. What's your message to those, those younger guys like Thomas Harper and those guys? Uh, I mean, the, my message is always is just play football. I mean, we, we've been playing this game for a long time, so um, I think, uh, you know, obviously it's always nervous. Like uh, Jabbar and Corey, um, they were two young corners that uh, got a lot of playing time this last game. And I could tell they probably were a little nervous before the game. And I just told them, you know, you've been playing this game for a long time. It's just football. And they went out there, and uh, I think Jabbar got like half a sack or something. So I was excited for them. But it's always business when we step on the field. And I think uh, everybody, um, you know, especially being DBs, you know, we all kind of got like a little toxic side to us. So nobody wants to lose or get beat. So um, that's, I think that's where the nerves come from. But I just tell them play their game. Just in general, what's the vibe or the tone been like among the defense since the first game? Uh, I mean, business is business as always. I think last year um, we had like the opportunity to actually see our defense, you know, win football games and actually see like Oklahoma State can be a team that doesn't have to put up 50 points to win a game, you know what I mean? So um, after seeing that, like our confidence is through the roof. And I think last game, uh, we got put into some tough situations, um, you know, on defense. And I think we came through and uh, allowed uh, our team to get the win. And I think as competition rises throughout the season, um, we're just going to keep building off of it. Hopefully our defense can, uh, you know, help the, the team win more and more games and hopefully get to that championship like we want to. Have you seen that shift at all since you've been here as far as, you know, since you came in as a freshman until now that you all have figured out and kind of embraced this identity as a group that can win games? How has that changed within the group? Yeah, I, I definitely um, have seen the shift since I've been here. Uh, I think I came, I graduated 2019, 2018 at a high school. So when I first came here, you know, Oklahoma State was kind of a team that had to put up a lot of points to win games. Not saying we had a bad defense or anything, just saying we had to, you know, put up a lot of points. And shifting from last year to being, I think, the best third down defense in the nation, just getting off the field every time we, you know, we go out there. And I think it also gives our off offense a little confidence. You know, I can't really uh, speak for that side of the ball because I'm not over there. But I think it gives them confidence knowing, like, hey, we can make a mistake because, you know, we have a defense that's going to come through for us. And I think, you know, our identity, like I said, our confidence has just kept rising and rising. You know, I came in with guys like Argo Field and uh, Jarvis Bernard and, you know, us coming in now growing to this defense that we have. I mean, like I said, our confidence is just rising and rising. And, you know, we're ready to see what we can do this season and um, hopefully make a shot at that Big 12 championship. Earlier in fall camp, Coach Knowles had talked about kind of just how the team meeting go. He mentioned the defender of the day competition. He mentioned if someone makes a mistake, the whole Benedict Arnold with the colonial hat. Is that, do y'all actually have a hat? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 no, it, it's more digital. So he'll he'll have clips on, 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 uh, on the film. We actually sit in this room. So uh, our defense as a whole, we like one big family. So, you know, when somebody messes up, we all laughing at you. Um, but when somebody does good, we all clapping for you. So um, we all like to get better, but I like how Coach knows, you know, he has a sense of humor. So it's, it's business, but at the same time, you know, we have fun because it's still football. It's still a game that, you know, we've been enjoying since we were kids. So, um, but yeah, Coach knows he's a, he's a character for sure. He's a character. Thank you. We go on about Coach knows. He talked about how Toward the end of the game, we started dialing up blitzes. You put a lot of trust in the secondary to to stay together. How does that trust build up, and how does that feel at the end of the game when you're worn out and you're tired after being out there for so long? Yeah, um, I think I, I I had talked about this earlier during the camp. Um, like our, our our secondary is like one big unit because I think most of us came in together. So you know, I I think I'm probably roomed with at least everyone in the back end. You know, we were roommates at one point, so um, we all had this this big relationship. So we all want to see each other succeed. Coach knows, you know, we know um, when it's crunch time and the game's online, you know, he's going to send his blitzes, but it's going to leave, you know, the guys in the back end one on one with your guys. So, um, and like I said, we all got a little cocky chip on our shoulder and nobody wants to lose. So, I think when you, when you, when you one on one, that's kind of, you know, uh, the, the best situation you can be in because, you know, you got to have the ability, trust in your ability and 
know, to be confident in yourself that, that you're better than the guy in front of you. And I think everybody in our back end is confident that they're better than, you know, the guys that are going to be in front of them. And you, you're going to lose something, some, and you're going to win some too. So, um, But the fact that Coach Knowles has that trust in us, I mean, I think it's also helped our defense, you know, be the defense we are now. You played as, as a true freshman. Um, Colin Oliver is a guy who's getting a chance to play right now. What uh, what are the challenges that, that you face uh, when, you're, when you're coming in that young, and, uh, and what, have, what have he shown you? Um, I think when I came in playing as a true freshman, one thing I didn't want to do, honestly, is mess up. You know, I had a lot of older guys, you know, that could, could be their last time playing football, so I just wanted to do all I could, you know, to, to help them. And I think Colin's kind of in that same situation, but he came in, I mean, he showed why he's going to be playing a lot this season. Um, he was flying around, making plays, you know. When you first come in, you start with the, you know, the threes and things like that, and he bumped his way to rotating with the ones. And, I mean, he has a good leader in front of him, Brock Martin. I mean, Brock, I mean, he, he, we're not even in the same position, and we have a pretty good relationship. So I know Brock is a, a really good leader, so I think he's going to eventually be a really good player, and this year he might make some sparks and, and, and uh, turn some heads this season. Yeah, yes, I have. I mean, he just came in this season, but his experience playing at Oklahoma State and also being an athlete, um, so he he can relate to the players. So, I mean, we've had conversations. I mean, I remember before the game, he was kind of telling me what I'm saying now, like, it's just football. Because, you know, everybody gets nervous. I was nervous myself. So, you know, he's just telling me it's just football. Like, you play this game your whole life, just go out there and have fun. So, I think he's going to be a really good asset to the Oklahoma State football team, to be honest. Whether I'm still here next year or not, well, he's gonna be a really good uh, asset to the team. How motivational is it for you, current guys, to see former?